today I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about what the hell this DevOps is, why should you care, so basically what benefits it can bring to your business or product, and uh, how to start using it from tomorrow or maybe from Monday. So what the hell is DevOps? When I think about DevOps, for me it's a more of like of a way of working, how your IT works in your organization and how it works to reach those benefits which we are talking here. So the problem which DevOps is trying to solve is because applications, your business, if you are a digital business, basically it has a variety of phases of dev its development. Yeah. So for example, when you start, you are a startup or something, you have some small scale application, maybe it's some website or some I know, mobile application. Yeah. So that's totally fine. Usually, typically, I guess even single person can handle it. But the complexity starts when you grow up. When you grow into big scale applications, I know, let's say Bolt, Vinted, Booking.com, you can mention, you know, many, many of those big, big stuff. Applications, big scale applications, there you usually see many teams working on the software de development, on the uh, administration, etc. So there are multiple numbers of teams working of, on different parts of the application, on different parts of architecture, etc. And this is where the whole fun starts. So typically there are at least two teams. One team is development team, another is operations team. What development team do? These are programmers. They write code, they develop features, they develop new products, they design the application. So basically they sometimes even fix bugs. But the thing is that it not stops when they write the code because then somebody needs to put into the production so that your end users can see it online, Yeah, can, can uh, open your application online or use the application. Yeah, So this is where operation teams come from. So those guys, those geeks are responsible for servers, yeah, servers or cloud virtual servers, whatever, yeah, but basically they are responsible for configuration of servers, network, security, they are doing backups, their, their responsibility is, you know, uptime or availability, so they, their goal is to make sure that everything is up and running, and they usually say do not touch what is running. Basically, your end user doesn't care about how those team, two teams work, yeah, if your competitor pu puts the new feature faster than you, so you are screwed, yeah. So this is the biggest problem. So what can make those two teams work together? DevOps, yeah? <laughs> I guess it was obvious. So by implementing those way of working uh, principles, those teams start working better together. They, they start know, knowing what each other is doing. Yeah? So basically, they, bring, they develop some empathy to each other, even though still they hate each other, but still there is at least some understanding wh why they are doing this and why they are doing that. Yeah? A gift for you, you can take a picture of that and, and use it as a job ad. I prepared a perfect, let's call, job ad for DevOps. It's a shortened list of, of, uh, of, of, of skills and responsibilities and, and uh, experience, but basically the main thing I want you to take from this, so those bus business benefits, so faster time to market, as I said, so instead of uh, having possibility to publish your new features or new products like mon two, uh, once or twice a month, you should be able and you should request and you should expect that you should be able to launch those features, I know, next hour or maybe at the same even moment. Then the quality and, and, and security of your product. So automation, automation, automation. And another thing is better performing and, and more motivated IT teams. So, you know, uh, more modern practices you will have in your company, more better people you will have. This journey is very big transformation to DevOps, but at least these first three steps is at least what I think that it's most important for you to start. Whether you are business manager, developer, senior developer, IT manager, whatever, first thing first, you need to find somebody, you know, partner in crime. You need to find some stakeholders in business or IT who will believe together with you and help you to, fi to launch this DevOps initiative, yeah? Next thing is actually hiring the DevOps or getting some partner which could help with DevOps implementation. But the main requirements is those which I provided in the job ad, but also it's very important, so practical experience and, and uh, mandate to implement those DevOps practices. And the third thing is actually to select a DevOps tool chain. So if you go to web pages of Azure DevOps or GitLab or whatever, those sellers of their products, they will say that while buying this product, this tool, you will get DevOps. So no, it's not true. 
but uh, because what, simply by getting the tool, you will not get DevOps competency into your uh, organization. Yeah, but the tool set is very important, and it's a big foundation for how your DevOps initiative will go further. So yeah, what the hell is DevOps? So it's new skills in your IT, it's new tools and new way of working. I would say you know instead of uh, trying to find one person that would change your whole entire organization, firstly start from those steps and implement those DevOps way of working. So processes and mindset instead. <laughs>